Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have the David Osterson Heinrich Wickstrom Trophy Collection. The Trophy Collection was David Osterson's very first pen and was the first based on the wonderful work of Heinrich Wickstrom, who was the head workmaster of Peter Carl Fabergé from 1903 to 1918. This pen was based on the Imperial Trophy Egg, but was also known as the Egg with Love Trophies or Cradle with Garland's Egg. Now, doing a quick walkthrough, uh, we obviously, uh, the original trophy egg had a similar color to this, this nice powder blue, and also this wonderful galoche pattern you see in the enamel. Uh, also, the, the pen clip has a lot of the symbols and artwork that was found on the actual Fabergé egg, as this, this, uh, the center, these kind of circles, interwoven circles with this lovely pattern in an off-white. Now this pen actually came in four different colors, each of 128 total. Um, it's this also this powder blue, but also a wonderful red in with gold for May, a violet, and black. Now looking at the at the band, you'll notice actually it says Heinrich Wickstrom. So this original pen was actually branded Heinrich Wigstrom. Uh, since then, all, all David Austin pens were branded using his own name, uh, but this very first one did come in the Heinrich Wigstrom uh, name. Now uh, this one happens to be a very early, early number. This is number uh, six of 128. And of course you have then the uh, silver hallmarks there. Uh, opening up the pen, you have uh, again a nice, again a, a similar pattern that you see uh, on, on the on the clip, uh, nicely etched there, but also a wonderful two-tone 18 karat gold nib with the Heinrich Wigstrom logo on it. Now, an interesting story is that uh, the predecessor to Heinrich Wigstrom um, was Mikael Perchin, also known as Mikael Perkin. Unfortunately, he passed away fairly young um, and largely due it's my understanding, uh, because of he was breathing in a lot of toxins associated with the hot enamel that was used in the original Fabergé eggs. Um, you know, back then the, the materials were, were actually quite toxic and unfortunately Kale Perkin uh, succumbed to those, those toxins. Now, uh, fast forward to about 22 years ago, um, when this, this pen was first being created, uh, the United Kingdom decided that uh, the materials that was used in this particular enamel, this, this powder blue, was no longer going to be allowed to be available in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is where Dave Osherson has his workshop. And so David had switched to a slightly more brilliant blue uh, to finish out the series. And you can see as they both are very lovely colors. I'm, I'm a huge blue fan. Um, You'll see a lot of, I have a lot of blue pens. Uh, but you also notice the difference actually in the uh, the white. This, this original powder blue had a little more of an off-white color to it, whereas the, the revised brilliant blue was more of a true white. Now, there's a couple different things that actually affects the, the color you see in the pens. Obviously, the, the actual enamel itself has a big, has the most dominant effect. But also you can see is a difference in shading based on the depth of the enamel. And so for that, I'll actually I'll pull up this the, the black the black pen. Because I have another version. This is actually a very early version. This is number six of 128. But I have a later version of, of this same pen. And what you'll notice, um, if you get in the right light, you can see is, is actually this this other pen um, is actually a quite a bit. Uh, lighter in color overall. You can especially see it uh, in the top part of the cap and the middle of the barrel uh, on the on there. And that's due to the enamel is the same, but the depth of the cut, of, so the depth of the actual enamel is slightly less in the top pen, and therefore it's a lighter shade. And so again, I think this is quite Quite interesting to see that differences and so again you have a little more of a darker darker black translucent black compared to more of a, a lighter uh, almost almost a shade of gray almost uh, with this this lighter one again the same enamel uh, but again the depth of the cut is what makes the difference in the, in the clouds you see
Now, it is my understanding that actually the this black enamel did become unavailable, also just like the the, the light blue, um, and it, it, David switched to a more of a mossy black, translucent black, um, for the, the, the last um, few of these of these pens. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a version of that. Now, all these pens, of course, are, are solid sterling silver um, and therefore quite weighty. Uh, they range in weight between 85 grams all the way up to 94. Not really certain why there is a difference in weight. Again, I just assume just a little differences when they were, were first produced kind of thing. So at this point, I'll go ahead and start talk. I'll, I'll show you the uh, packaging material. Uh, since this was branded originally Heinrich Wigstrom, uh, the packaging material actually reflects that branding. And so I'll show those differences at this point. All right, so you have an outer box with the Heinrich Wigstrom logo on it. Uh, that reveals a inner box, a nice wooden box that has uh, then the Heinrich Wigstrom name and logo on it. A nice material, again, a nice, a nice box. Uh, the 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 bottom part of the outer box also came came with um, uh, the cartridges, extra spare cartridges, and I assume for the roller, roller balls, these were uh, refills for the roller ball. Um, the pen also, or the box also came with a very nice, uh, very large. Heinrich Wickstrom a polishing cloth and uh, also then the original um, pamphlet that has the Heinrich Wickstrom a uh, name uh, with the trophy collection. Uh, this this course has uh, the pictures actually here's the trophy um, trophy egg uh, again and the pictures of the this violet the red and then the black and the powder blue. Great information. So again, this is the very first um, pamphlet, so therefore there's only a single pen in it, uh, namely the, the trophy. Well, there you have it. The David Osterson Heinrich Wigstrom Trophy Collection in four original colors, powder blue, violet, red, and black. We have the two different versions of blue based on the availability of the enamel, and also uh, a slight difference in shading of the black based on the depth of the enamel itself. Again, all quite spectacular, beautiful patterns, great colors, uh, just just a wonderful, wonderful collection. And again, this is the very first one from David Oscarson, and uh, they, they are just as beautiful today as they were 22 years ago when he first created them. Just spectacular pens. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.